Hello, and welcome to History Pod. On the 13th of March 1881, Tsar Alexander II of Russia was assassinated in a St. Petersburg street by a member of the People's Will Revolutionary Movement. Despite introducing a number of reforms, such as the emancipation of the serfs in 1861 and the abolition of capital punishment, Alexander's government remained autocratic. After a failed assassination attempt in 1866, he began to brutally repress those who sought political change. By the 1870s, the government was coming under increasing pressure from liberals and radicals to introduce further changes. Land and Liberty, a group of reformers who sought land reform, soon gave rise to the People's Will, which favoured terrorism as a way to achieve their aims. The Tsar became the focus for a number of attacks from 1879 onwards, and finally succumbed to their tactics in 1881. Alexander was travelling close to the Catherine Canal when a bomb was thrown at his closed carriage by a member of the People's Will. The blast killed one of the accompanying Cossacks and injured many others, but the Tsar himself was unharmed. Emerging shaken from his armoured carriage, however, Another assassin threw a second bomb, which landed at Alexander's feet. Suffering from severe bleeding, the Tsar was taken to the Winter Palace where he died from his wounds. Somewhat ironically, Alexander had just that morning signed the Loris Melikov constitution, which would have established an elected parliament known as a Duma. However, this was rejected by his son and heir, Alexander III, who instead further suppressed civil liberties through the Akrana. Alexander II's death therefore arguably slowed down, rather than sped up, the move to a Russian parliamentary democracy.